animal life, animals in different surroundings, animal life, learning about animals and grouping them according to how they live. Hi kids, we are going to be learning about animal life today. Hey, ever learn what the word animal means? The word animal comes from the Latin word which means soul or breath. Now you know. Look around you and you will find a whole lot of different types of animals. You don't need to go to a zoo or forest to see them. You find birds around you or a spider's web, the neighbor's dog, an odd cow drawn cart, a butterfly around a flower and the ladybug on the leaf. Hey, animal life is all around us. We even have animals that are microscopic like the amoeba or the gigantic elephant and the blue whale. So, animals live in different types of surroundings. They are in the air, on land and water. Let's look at some different types of animals according to where they live. One, animals that live on land. Two, animals that live only in water. 3. Animals that live on land and also in the air. 4. Animals that live both on land and in water. Animals that live on land. There are a whole lot of animals that live on the land. Some are big and some are small. Some don't have legs. Some have a lot of legs. Some live in the real cold place and have thick fur. Some of them can't swim or fly. Hey, where did you learn how to swim? Animals that live on the land are called terrestrial animals. Different animals live in water. Fish, crabs, prawns. Animals that live in water have streamlined bodies. A streamlined body is a boat shape, pointed in the front and back end. This shape helps in swimming easily in the water. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Aquatic animals have special organs for swimming in the water. Fish have fins. Frogs and water birds have webbed feet. And whales have pedal like limbs. Water animals like fish also have gills to breathe. Other animals like the whale have lungs and they come to the surface of the water to take in the air. Animals that live on land and also in the air. Many birds and insects come on the land to find food and shelter. But then they fly in search of food or to escape the enemies. Some animals live both on land and in water. Very good examples of which are frogs and toads and salamanders. The frog lay eggs in the water. Tadpoles hatch out of these eggs and they live in the water. They even have gills like the fish. 
After a few days, the tadpoles develop lungs and limbs. The gills and fins disappear and since they can no longer live in the water, the frog comes out onto the land. It later goes back to the water only to lay more eggs or to hide. Other animals like toads, water snakes, crocodiles, tortoises and crabs also spend part of their life in water and a part on the land. Information Did you know? The heaviest WWE star was Yokozuna. But do you know who the heaviest superstar in the animal kingdom is? <coughs> hey, it's not you. It's the blue whale that weighs about 200 tons. It would take us about 40 elephants to match to weigh up to a blue whale. They say if the blue whale was removed out from the water, it would collapse because of its weight. Summary We have been learning about animals and their surroundings. Have fun! Hey!